Welcome back to my living room and are you ready to turn off the news, shut down your computer, walk away from everything and just join me for a fusion bar class. Um, with more and more restrictions happening, it's harder to access all the things that you love to do. So we need to keep moving. Movement is what keeps us healthy. Movement is what keeps us happy. So today is a bar-based class. We're gonna fuse in some Pilates and some fitness and some yoga and take you through a really strong uh, workout so we get the heart pumping and we feel good on our Saturday afternoon. So people are coming in. It's so good to see so many people joining us today. Super fun. Carol, good to have you on here with me today. Um, so we are gonna go barefoot. So it's a barefoot workout. If you have a mat, a yoga mat, um, place it on the floor, or if you've got a carpeted floor, that'll be fine. Um, hardwood floor will be feel like a dance studio, so that'll be even better. And if you'd like, grab yourself a chair for the balance work. So I've got a chair here with me for some of the balance um, exercises. Simply some, sometimes putting a couple of fingers onto the chair will give you more balance, and then you can get more from the workout. So don't feel badly if you have to use a chair or a counter during any of these exercises, because sometimes we struggle so hard to balance that you actually don't get the benefit of the exercise. So play with using a chair or a counter if you've got that nearby. Um, some of you um, have been following me for a long time, so you know that I had ankle surgery. So I'm gonna need the chair for whenever I train with my left leg, because my ankle still isn't as strong as it could be. So I'm gonna use that chair to help me get the strength back into that, that ankle as we go through the, the class today. I'm gonna to turn on the music and I need you to tell me, thumbs up if it's a good volume, because I made the error earlier this week of playing the music too loud and you could not hear a word I was saying. So I'm gonna start it before we start moving. I'm gonna to look to you to give me feedback. Can you even hear it? Is it there for you? Can we hear the music? Hey Joanne, good to have you here online. So I've just turned on our music. We'll get the music started and we are gonna start the, all right, Sandy, thank you, thumbs up. Carol, thumbs up, so we're good to go. All right, so we're gonna come into our warm up. So coming onto the mat, we're gonna start with our feet because your feet are essential for this type of work. So bring your feet just underneath your hips so parallel to each other, and then just roll out your feet. So you roll the feet out. And again, you may have been sitting for a while today, working on your computer, or you know, doing, <laughs> watching the news, which is never good. You gotta turn it off every now and then. All right, so just warm it up by rolling the feet out. And as you roll the feet, roll the shoulders. So you start to just get some movement into the body. Got it one more time. Got it. And then bring the feet down, heels down, lift up, and then exhale and sweep down. Inhale, lift, exhale and sweep. And now as you start to warm up, you can be a little bit more excited about this movement. Make it a little bit bigger as you sweep up, you sweep down. Now Sandy, I know you're watching this. Sandy and I went through university together and we took modern dance together. So just think modern dance. We're back in that modern dance class. All right, two more. One more time. That inhale, reach up. All right, taking that right hand, reach and lengthen all the way through that side of the body. So we're gonna create length in the side body and then lower down, opposite side. Find length. Good, do it again. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, release. Come over to the other side. Reach and lengthen two more times. Reach and lengthen. One more time, reach and lengthen. Good, and come down. Roll the shoulders back. Bring your arms out in front. We call this first position in dance. Bring it out to the second side, second position. Overhead, fifth. Bringing it back down. So those are the positions we work. First, second, fifth, and come down. So you want to work this from your upper back. So the upper back is what stabilizes the, uh, the arms as they move. In the dance world, we call it the carriage. So as we carry the arms through the movements, all right, the arms you don't know, have to work as hard because your strong back muscles take the load. Good, now roll the shoulders back. The second thing to think about is your centering. Right around the navel is your core body. Sit into that, lift up through the navel, feel the strength of your core as you sweep upwards, good, and then sink back down. Feel the navel pull in, sweep upwards, sink back down. 
Pull the navel in, sweep upwards, sink back down. From here, fingertips down and slowly lift the hips up towards the ceiling, come into a forward bend. Bend your knee, create length in the spine, and then come into a forward bend again. Create length into the spine, and then come into your forward bend again. Soften the knees, and then from the pelvis, think of the tailbone curling under. You roll up through your spine, all the way up to standing. Take a nice deep breath, inhale, open. Exhale and release. Let's take a nice wide stance. Turn the toes out from the hips. So we rotate outwards from the hips, soften the knees, and just side to side, get some mobility into the hips. So as we work that side to side action, right, look to the feet and the alignment of the feet and the knees. So if the toes are turned on an angle, you want to have the knees going in the same direction of the toes. Yeah. From here. Come to the center, inhale, raise up. As you exhale, take that right arm over and find that nice long stretch. Now we're gonna bend into the legs equally so we come into a plie. Curve your spine through the center, reach the opposite leg. Open up and come center. Let's go the opposite way, side bend. Bend into it, curve around, reach and open. So side bend over, come around, reach, and open. Again, side bend over, come around, reach, and open. Two more times. Side bend over, come around, reach, and open. One more time, the opposite way. Up, round, reach, and open. From here, turn the toes forward, round your back, curve in, the backs of the hands come together, and then sweep out and take your fingertips behind you, touching your fingers. So we come back with the hands together, and then reach out. So as we come forward, bend and curve, and then reach back and open the chest. So we curve and open. Two more. Curve, open one more time. Curve, open and stay. Interlace your fingers and open up the chest as you hold here. Bend your knees, come down and hinge forward. As you hinge forward, reach the arms up overhead, slightly tucking your chin, Okay, then bring yourself up and let the arms come down. Keep the fingers interlaced, lift the arms up, squat down, come up overhead. Then bring yourself up, stand up two more like that. Lift, squat, hinge, come forward, roll up. One more time. Lift, hinge, over, roll up. And then just let the shoulders roll up. Yeah, whatever you feel feels good in your body. Let it go. Let your legs and your upper body move. Turn the toes back out. Take a deep breath. Inhale, raise up. Exhale, come into second position with the arms. Second position with the legs. All right, bring yourself up. Come back down. So just opening up the hips. All right, so think about rolling out from the femur. So the top of the femur rolls inside of the hip joint, but the body stays vertical. So your pelvis is directly underneath you. Your shoulders stacked on top as you sink. Yes, I know, you're warming up still. <laughs> Pull, four, three, two, bring yourself up. Good, then walk the feet in. Let's go into our first set. You're gonna bring your feet into a parallel position. So you're gonna work parallel and turned out all the way through this class. So parallel, your squat distance. Think of that. Now the arms go front, side, up. Remember we practiced this? We practiced this. I remember we practiced it. So a little coordination, because dance also is coordination. Right? So we're going to add that with our squats. We're going to go squat, lift, reach, stand up. Ha! Right? How's your brain doing? Don't even think about it. Just let it go. The arms and the legs will figure it out. Yes. Front, out, overhead, down. Okay, so now we're starting to elevate the heart rate. We're starting to bring in lower body training, but at the same time, we are training upper body and coordination. Yes, ha, good, down, hold. All right, from here, soften through the shoulders. Let the, from the shoulders to your thumbs, imagine you're running water down the arms, so they're slightly below. You're gonna sweep with the heels, lower. 
Sweep with the heels, lower. Then lift, lower. Now as you lift up, try and maintain the top momentarily before you come down. So strength through the entire body, vertically coming up and lower. So you have choices. You can stay here or you can do a little hop. Hop, hop for four more, three more, two more, one and hold. Ah, wiggle your toes. Breathe, put a smile on your face. All right? Ha, ah, inhale, reach up. Exhale, come back down. Reach up, lower, lift. So we have two more sets of this. What do you think? Right? Okay. So you can stay with this or do those eight jumps. Here we go. It's eight, seven, land softly. You got it. Four more, three more, two, hold. Wiggle your toes. Come up. One more round. Down and up. How's that doing for you? I'm feeling my heart rate come up. Breathing. You probably hear me sucking air a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Come down, hold. Lift the heels. Lower. You've got it. Jump if you like. Eight, seven, six, five, four. Uh huh. Ready? One more, hold, breathe, breathe, stand up, tap it side to side, side to side, walk in a little wider. Ooh, that was our first set. Okay, so now, second position, turn your toes out, arms in second, lower yourself down. So from here, we're just gonna pick up the right foot and lower. Lift, lower, lift, Lower. Every time you lower, can you put your foot in the same spot as you took off from? So precision of movement, placing that foot down each and every time. Hey everybody, keep it going. You look amazing. So that leg stays turned out and make it pretty by pointing your toe, because that's always more fun. And then think of extension. So extending out from the hip. Four, three, Two, come down. Are you ready? Relax the arms, circle the shoulders, bring them back up. Opposite side, point, lower. So our work is to stay light on the lower. Because as you lower against gravity, we want to fall into it. The more you lower with softness and lightness in the sound, the more we activate the muscles. So really think about activation of the muscles, creating the motion. Woo! And I didn't tell you how long the workout was gonna to be today, and that was intentional, because I thought if we're having a really good time, we'll just keep going, right? I mean, what else are we gonna to do tonight? Watch another movie, really? Four more, three more, two, one, Lower the arms down, roll it back. Now you might find you're getting a little upper body fatigue. Don't panic. Okay, so from here, we're gonna take your right leg, cross it behind and curtsy. So come into your curtsy, I have to move away from my chair. Curtsy, come out and down. Up, curtsy, up and down. So same leg, we stay on that leg. So lift, curtsy, point, and lower. Lift, curtsy. Now some of you don't know my background, some of you do. You've been training with me for a long time. But my background is when I was a child, right, is I was a synchronized swimmer. So I was exposed to ballet at a very young age, right, as part of our training program. So it's really fun for me to come back to it. Okay. Ready? This time we go out, hold. Pulse three, Two, one, heel lift. Three, two, one, heel lift. Now when the heel lifts, we're gonna bring the arms up overhead. Heel lift. One, two, three, heel lift. But we stay low with the legs. But we're into the legs, yes or no? Pulse, three, two, one. I'm just checking in on you. Are you feeling your legs? Is this a good workout so far? Feeling something going on? Heart rate's elevated? You've got this, keep it going. For four. 
three, two, one, come down, hold, hold and breathe. Rest your arms, okay, because we've got jumps. Now remember, you can just do a heel pop or you can jump. So we'll start with the heel pops, here we go. Lift, lift, we have eight jumps, isometric hold, eight jumps, isometric hold, eight jumps, here we go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold. This is a good time to take a break if you like, or stay with it. Heel pops. We got another eight. Here we go. Eight, seven, six. Ah, I feel it. Yes. It feels good though. Just start sweating, right? And hold. Catch your breath. One more round. Heel pops. Last eight. Count with me. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold. Stand up. Wiggle out the hips. I haven't forgotten. We have the other side. Oh, that's right, we do. Okay, so bring your feet to a comfortable position for you to come into your curtsy. Right? Open. Curtsy. Open. Gather up all the flowers, the roses they're throwing at you right now. Right? Somebody needs to show something at us, right? Keep it going. Alright, thank you for sending the hearts, Carol. Keep it going, everyone. Keep it going. Okay, so you tell me. Are you starting to feel this one? Feeling on this side? Two more. One more. Good. Come out. Three, two, one, release. See, I'm being nice. Three, two, one, release. So the heels pop up. Three, Three, two, one, release. One more time. Three, two, one, and stand up. Walk it in. Okay, find your chair or your counter or whatever you have. Okay, so I'm gonna bring it forward for now. Turn your feet out into first position. Right, so the inner heels are together. You're gonna zip up the inside seam of your legs. So if you're wearing tights, follow that inside seam all the way to your pelvic floor. So we just lower, lift. Now, this can be super easy or it can be super challenging. So if you're just letting the legs drop and then and drop and in, nothing's gonna happen. But what you wanna feel like is there's effort in both directions. We eccentrically work up or out and concentrically squeeze in. And as you squeeze in, activate your inner thigh muscles to activate your pelvic floor. Now here's where we're gonna add the balance. So you're gonna go down, pull up, lower, pull up. So you're gonna lift right up. Now, you don't need the chair, and you can just do it right here. Without the chair, go for it. But never let balance steal the work. So if your balance is struggling today, for whatever reason, because actually the whole world is out of balance right now, so we could be struggling, right? Is just go to where you feel you can maintain. Now, lift up, pull up through your inner thighs. Yes, lower, lift, lower, lift, lower, and lift. Now, every time you lift up, draw up through that inside seam of your body from your pelvic floor to your sternum now. So think all the way up, huh. right? Is it good? Going in for four, nice three, two, one. Now stay up and just press down, down, down. Now your lower legs might start talking to you. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Huh. Come to parallel. All right. In parallel, pick up one leg, right? So find that balance again. And again, if you have good balance and you can do it without the chair, fingertips on the chair or fingertips not on the chair, swing the leg back and reach your arm forward. So you come into a T position with your body. Now the hand that's overhead, bring it behind your hip, right? And behind your hip, 
I want you to sense the position of your pelvis. So we're going to try and get the pelvis to be level so that the lifted leg, the hip is at the same height as the opposite leg and the arm is reaching forward. Now you can be heavy on the hand that's balancing you or you can use um, both arms overhead. Let's lift the knee up and sweep back. So we lift and lower, up and back. Good. Now when we kick back, try not to hyperextend the back. Stop the leg before you lose the engagement of your abdominals. So you want to keep the abdominals actively working as we sweep. Two more. One more. This time take it back. Hold. Now dip into the leg that you're standing on and straighten. So we lower and lift. Ah, breathe. Lowering and lifting. Now here's where it gets fun. Add a heel lift. Up, up. So you're coming up onto that heel each time you rise up. This is where the chair gets, gets super helpful, right? Keep it going for four, three, two, one. Hold, and now bring the leg through. Turn the, the knee slightly out so the inside of your leg is open to you, and you can see the inside of the heel. And you're gonna lift, extend, lift, extend. Now our work is, every time we come up, we're keeping the torso in that vertical position. So we're vertical. Now my approach to bar training is to do as much full range of motion as possible because in life, life is full range of motion. The pulses give us that little bit of intensity, but we want to think range of motion as well, through the range. One more. This time, come up, and then just a lift, a lift. And again, if you want to go full balance with that leg slightly rotated out, find the lift, eight, seven, six, five, yes, three, two, one, and float down. Walk through your feet as if nothing happened, we're going to the other side, all right? So, bringing yourself to the other side, all right? Finding that balancing position for you, reaching out. All right, you can point your toe, you can flex the, the ankle of the lifted leg, but what you want to look for is that level pelvis. Level pelvis, core strong. Find length, find balance, find stability, and then draw it in and back, and in, and reach, and back, and in, and reach. So if the standing work isn't your favorite, this is the last standing series before we go to the floor, so you're almost there. Four, three, two, one, hold, and now lower, and lift. So we lower, and lift. As you lower and lift, it's like you're doing a little dip and then you're pulling the kneecap up by engaging the quadricep as if you're pulling up your tights, right? So as if you're pulling up your tights as you come up through that. Good. Two more. One more. And then come all the way through the knee balance. Oh, I forgot something, didn't I? Go back. Ready? Lift the heel. Lift the heel. I realize that, right? We're going to kick you out of it. All right, so you're doing that heel lift with it. So you're rising up onto the releve, right? So a releve, boom. Up. Three more. Two more. One more. And now you get to come through, right? Now turn the leg out slightly. The inside of your leg, right, is turned up towards the ceiling. Find balance if you like, lower, lift. Now think about this as core conditioning, core stabilization. The upper body stays while the lower body moves. That is the beauty of dance. It's the ability to control movement, to control movement through space. The more control you have, the more effort there is in the movement. So dancers always make it look super easy, and then have you ever gone home after going to the ballet and tried it on your own? It's like, you know doesn't work out so well. All right, for four, three, two, and hold. And lift, 
that. I know, I used to go to the valley and come home and think I could do a split leap and then realize uh, I can't. Last three, last two, last one, and lower down. Turn the toes out, raise, and lower. First position, breathe to it. Find your balance, find your center again. Now find your breath, because we are gonna to transition to the floor. The floor work may be more challenging or less challenging, depending on where our strengths are. So take breaks at any time when you need it. Last four, three, two, and before we leave standing, inhale is up. Good. Exhale, bow, inhale, exhale, bow, inhale, up, parallel your feet, come to the end of your mat. So coming to the end of your mat, and we're going to go into swan leg. Are you ready? Inhale. And as you exhale, swan dive. You can, you know, float your wings if you want. Walk your hands out. Come into your plank position. Spread the hands. Slightly tuck the chin. Lift up through your navel. Now, in this position at any time, bring your knees to the floor. Think about what's happening in your upper back. So draw the shoulder blades in and down and be pliable with your arms. So if we lock into the elbows, we're not able to shift our weight. So be soft yet strong. Always think it's the balance between effort and ease. And really when you think of a dancer, that's what it is. It's the balance between the effort and the ease. Hold for one more breath. Exhale, soften your knees down and press back. Okay. So I'm gonna turn sideways on this, or towards you, because I think it's gonna be the easiest way to see it, but here we go. Come forward into your plank. Curl your toes under. Ah. Good, now you're gonna press into your right hand. You're gonna lift your left leg. You're gonna cross the leg over, bring your hip down, and then extend up. Do that again, come down, and extend up. I'm going to turn sideways so you can see what's happening. So the left foot is pushing us upwards. Make sure that your shoulder stays stable. So it's a reach and a lower and a reach and a lower. Two more. So you're contracting from the back of your body. The hamstring, gluteal, spinal muscles in the back of the body. Whew. One more. Hold it up, hold it up. Good, take that hand forward, and then take the lifted leg, thread it right through to the opposite side, and open up. Oh yeah, we went right around to the opposite side. Good, hold it here, lift the leg, and lower. Breathe through it. Okay, so I have a question for you. How many more do you wanna do? You're like, I can't hit my phone right now. I'm busy exercising. Uh, hi, Darcy. Hi, four, three, two. Everybody just touch the foot down, but don't give up yet. Don't give up yet. Rotate back, come down. One push up all the way to the ground. Push up, reach the arms and legs, extend, bring it in, push it up. All right, soften your knees, come back, child's pose. We have to go to the other leg. Okay. All right, are you ready to go to the other side? Find your balance in your plank. Curl that leg up, rotate over, so you come to the outside edge of your foot, bring your hip down, and then reach and lift, and lower. And lower. Lift, and lower. Feel this in the entire back of the body. Hamstrings, gluteal, spine, all the way up through your fingertips. Feel as though you're reaching for the ceiling every time. All right, four more, three more, two, stay up. Good. Come back, here we go. Rotate all the way through. Open it up. So now you're on the other side. You're gonna lift that leg. Or, because I can't see you, you can just protest. I need this in the, I'm gonna wait till they get to something I like. All right, last four, three, two, hold. 
thread through all the way to the floor, extend out, hold, hands come in, toes curl under, push yourself up, knees down, press back. Ah, that was fun. That was fun. Okay. So from here, let's be dancers. I'm going to stay this way so you can see what's happening. Curl your toes under, downward facing dog. Lift your heels, bend your knees. We're going to jump out to second position, hands up, hands down, jump back, hands out, and go. So we come into second, nice and low, out, in, good, <sighs> two more, be light with your feet, soft landing, <sighs> next one. Hold, come in, and just open up your hips. Okay, we're going to the floor for our next series. So parallel your feet, fingertips down, come into a straddle forward bend, exhale. And then just rock your hips right and left. From there, bend back down, hands down, bring one leg behind you, sit down gracefully and come to a seated position. Okay, so remember our arm positions, first, second, fifth. So every time you wanna keep those shoulders relaxed, we're gonna do that in a V sit. So heels down, inner thighs draw together. Arms out, lean back. So lean back into your V sit. That challenges you. At any time, hands can come to the back of your thighs. So if you're like, I just need, I need a little bit of assistance, go here. Okay, so here we go. We have first, second, fifth. Second, fifth, first. So every time we move our arms, we change what the core has to do to keep us here. Now, one position we haven't learned yet is third and fourth, right? So that's what we're gonna learn next. Four more like this. Yeah, four more means all the way through. Where are we at? Right, I'll just pick it up where you are. If I could see you, I would pick it up where you are, okay? One more. And then come up, come into a forward bend. So letting that tension go. Good, and then bring yourself up. Okay, so just see it here. Okay, so right arm overhead, left arm where it is, and switch. Right, so that seems fair enough. Okay, so here we go. Back into your B-sit. Right, left. Breathe through it. Now, again, try to keep the shoulders relaxed away from your ears and be as graceful with your upper body, although the effort is happening through the rest of your body. Try to keep your facial muscles relaxed, smile on your face, because this is performance, right? Last four, three, two, one. Bring yourself up. <sighs> okay, so we're going to be lying back next. So remember fifth position overhead? We're going to do that again. So when we're in fifth, we have the arms slightly forward of the head, which means they're gonna stay off the ground. Okay, so let's take the legs out. Cross your right leg over your left. Point your toes, right? Inhale, lift and lengthen. And then as you exhale, roll back all the way. Bring your arms to fifth. So the arms are just over the head. With the arms over the head, the rib cage wants to pop. So pull the rib cage down and feel your lat muscle come right into your low back on both sides of your body. Okay, from here, inhale. As you exhale, reach the arms up, curl up, reach for the toes, and continue forward into a stretch. And then up and roll. Breathe. So the one leg that's over top is locking the other leg down as we roll through our spine. Roll. One more time, all the way up. 
come into that forward stretch, and then sit up tall. So cross the other leg over. So this leg is locking it down. Inhale here, exhale, roll back, vertebrae by vertebrae. And as you roll back, feel as though you're gently placing the spine on the floor. And often there's parts of our spine that are stiff and we feel like we just drop into that part. So really focus in to where you feel like you're gonna lose control and really try and flex through the spine to come down. So continue up and down on your own time, right? And just finish two more repetitions. one, come all the way up, because I want to show you what you're going to do before we're lying down you can't see it. So we're going to go into a shoulder bridge or hip bridge, um, and typically the legs are parallel. That's where we're going to start. So the heels line up in your sitting bones, the kneecaps towards the ceiling. We're going to do a thread, and we're going to take one foot, it's going to thread in behind, and it's going to open up. So let's just do that so you open up your hip. So the leg threads through, but it's going to stay lifted off the floor and then it's going to come up and it's going to extend towards the ceiling. So it's going to thread and up. Thread on the other leg, thread through. Sometimes our hip mobility is like, uh oh, I'm tight, right? And then we come up and we thread. So we're going to start with parallel and then with thread and lift, thread and lift. Now the goal on thread and lift is to keep the hips level and not fall. Hmm. Okay, here we go. Knees bent, arms up, inhale here, exhale, roll back. All right, so now bring your heels so they align with your sitting bones and the kneecaps towards the ceiling. Arms and fifth. Okay, slightly tuck your chin, draw the rib cage down, and let's just warm up the back by tucking the tailbone, curving the spine, and rolling up all the way into your bridge. Now at the top of the bridge, you want to have a diagonal line from your knees to your hips to your shoulders. And then melt the back rib cage down, roll down, and pelvis comes neutral. Okay, so let's bring the arms down the side. So the arms are going to synchronize with the, with the hips. So we inhale, we roll. We exhale, we sink. So feel the muscles in the back of the body bring you up. And then feel the muscles on the front of the body bring you down. So it's, it's a massage of the back and front of the body as we roll up and roll down. So we feel a contraction on the front and back of the body. Whew. All right, one more. And then finish with the hips up, but bring your arms back down to the side of the body. Place your hands on the floor, but make the fingertips nice and light and the forearms light. Okay, so lifting your right leg to the ceiling. All right, so immediately you might notice a shift in the hips, the hips might drop, so really, work to level the pelvis. And if you have to take your hands to your hips and make it happen, go ahead and make it happen. Good, now just lower and lift right here. So just straight up, straight up that vertical line. So the working leg is the leg on the floor. Now sometimes that knee wants to go drifting, so anchor your big toe down, and that's gonna keep your knee aligned towards the ceiling so that you're gonna engage that inner thigh line that we talked about right to your pelvic floor. Two more here, one more, and now pulse it up. Lift, so the pulse comes from the opposite glute. So the opposite glute is firing and firing for four, three, two, are you ready for your thread? Now, thread the leg through, Keep the hip lifted and extend. So the supporting leg is the one that I want to keep lifted. The leg that threads can come down, but the supporting leg stays lifted. Whew, this is good mobility. This is good strength. How are we feeling about this? I'm going to check for how everybody's doing. I wish I could see you. I was saying the other day, I feel like I have imaginary friends in my living room. Two more. One more. God, take that leg straight up towards the ceiling. Hold, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Two, keep your hip elevated, lower the foot down, lower the hips, hug your knees into your chest. <sighs> Gently rock. <sighs> okay, the other side. Feet back down, arms by your side, kneecaps up. 
feet parallel to your, each other. Lift up. Okay, there we are. All right, opposite leg goes up. All right, so with that opposite leg up, this is the glute that's firing up. We lower and lift. So when you lower, you're lowering just to a hover, just to a hover. So your pelvis is just above the floor, right? So we don't actually fully rest. It's like you tap it and you lift away from it. You tap it and you lift away from it. We're almost done. We're almost done, yeah? Come to the top, hold the top, and pulse up. All right, this gluteal is doing the work, trying to get the hips level. Maybe take your hands to your hips. Are they level? That makes it harder, actually. Four, three, two, hold. Now thread. Thread through. See how this hip stays lifted? Then go up. Oh. And lift. Thread. And lift. So I don't know what you, but while we have our restrictions in place and our gyms, our favorite boutiques and gyms and studios are closed, I absolutely refuse to get out of shape. Are you with me? We gotta stay with us. We gotta keep moving. All right, two more. Because that fridge is really close to the living room. Okay, hold, hold, hold and breathe. All right, hold on to it. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. You melt that foot down. Place both feet parallel again. Squeeze in. One last exercise. This is not going to be a pretty view, but it's the view that you need to see. All right? The legs go to a small V. Inside edges of the feet together. We lift to a bridge here. All right, so knees slightly out, not fully stretched at a diagonal. You're going to get now into the outer line of the glute. Okay? Arms can be up in first position. Lower, lift. Lift, lower, and lift. Now really stabilize, really stabilize, right? Because if you'd like, we're gonna add a little challenge. Come up, hold, right, breathe. Sweep the hips side to side, side to side. Okay, so do we feel stability on the two sides? If the answer is yes, come with me. If the answer is no, stay where you are, find center, good. Pick up one foot. Stay on the outer edge of that hip. Stay on the outer edge. Oh, 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 yes. And lower. Try the other side. Pick it up. Find it, find it, find it. Find stability. Bring it down. Do it again. Find stability. You'll know if your leg was totally relaxed out. This is why I'm doing this to you. Because you want to have tension in the leg. Alternate it two more times on each side. Two more times. So you find that place where there's stability. And then we stretch. Whew. One more time. And lower, inner thighs together, and down. Did you have one side that was better than the other? It's very common. Okay. From here, pick up one leg to the ceiling. Arms straight out to the side. Inhale here. As you exhale, curl your body up. Take a hold of your leg. All right. So you can point your toe. You can flex the ankle. All right. Inhale here. As you exhale, roll back. Bring the leg with you. Now flex and point. So you can keep the opposite knee bent or straighten it out all the way along the floor. Now our stretch is gonna be more dynamic in nature, more like a dancer. All right, so go at the speed that feels right for you. Take the leg straight up, lower the leg towards the floor, and lift, lower, and lift. Now, this is your flexibility without you using your arms to lift. Two more. One more. Hold the leg up. Now, as the leg presses away, we curl up. Reach the arms overhead. Curl up. Hold eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Roll back. Reach out. And place your body down. Hug your knees back into your chest. Gentle rock. Mm. All right, opposite leg up. You can point your toe, you can flex your foot, whichever feels better for you right now. Walk your hands up your leg, curl up, and then exhale, roll back. Flex and point the foot. You can keep this knee bent, 
or straighten it along the floor. All right, so find the dancer in you as we go to the next set. Good. Leg goes vertical, arm goes out. Lower the leg and lift the leg. Now the speed at which you do it at is the speed you feel you can control the entire range of motion. Right, so can I control it down? Can I control it up? One more, and then stay. As the leg goes down, we reach up. So reach overhead and curl. Hold 876, 543, two, lower the leg, roll back, and reach overhead. Inhale here, exhale, let all the tension go to your legs. <sighs> Just let the legs roll out. And let the shoulders release. Okay. Now, I call this next one the X Factor. So, again, this is made, well, I'm going to go this way. Maybe this is a better view. Okay, so you might want to watch the first one. This is just a really nice stretch. Okay, so imagine you're wearing a pair of gloves that come all the way up to your shoulder. So, you're going to take this hand, you're going to come to the top of the glove, and you're going to slide the glove off to your fingertips. So, you roll to that side. Good, and then you come back and you open it up. You go the opposite side, right? This is definitely modern dance or drama class, whatever you choose, right? So as you let yourself roll and you take those imaginary gloves off, right, you're getting a nice rotation through the entire spine. Because <sighs> then we're going to do it with the legs. So hopefully you can see this, right? So you're going to take one leg, and you're going to cross it over so that the toe comes to the outside of your thigh and you're going to glide down. You're going to let your body rotate and then you're coming up and then opening. Right? This is one we should do every morning before we get out of bed, right? just to wake up the body. Right? So Now imagine you're taking your stockings off with your big toes. Now the men in the class today are going, what are we talking about? All right, just trying to think what the men would have that are similar to stockings. But anyway, maybe your stockings, I don't know, All right? One more time, up and over, and then come to the center and just let everything go. <sighs> Take a nice deep breath, inhale, stay on the ground, exhale. All right, let your eyes close and take another breath in. And if we could all be in the room together, let's breathe in for four, two, three, four, and our auditory exhalation. <sighs> if we make it loud enough, we can maybe all hear each other. Do it again. In, two, three, four, exhale. Now for the next 30 seconds, let yourself just completely relax. Let the rhythm of your heart slow as the rhythm of the breath becomes slower and deeper. And then on your own time, just bringing one knee into your chest at a time, hugging your knees and maybe just moving around in any way your body feels it needs to. No one's watching, so you can do whatever you want to do. And then when you're ready, come to seated. And bring your hands out over the knees, your gaze soft. And even though we can't be together in the same room, I'm happy that we can connect in this way. Bring your hands together. Thank you for training with me today. Namaste. Have a wonderful Saturday evening. If you're interested, tomorrow morning, I am going to be doing a yoga Pilates fusion, but it will be at the academy.
underscore YYC. So tomorrow morning at nine o'clock, a yoga Pilates fusion class at the academy underscore YYC. I hope to see you there. Have a beautiful evening, everyone. Bye.